Hey guys, TD, Rods and Rides. Gonna do a little walk around on this hot rod trike that we just got finished with. We built this for uh, for Sturgis this year for 2020 for the 80th anniversary. We wanted to do something different that we haven't normally done. We've built a lot of trikes over the years. Um, a lot of them had 300 tires, 360 tires uh, like this one. Some of them had big fat tires like this bike does. Um, just a combination of things, but we've never done one that had almost two foot wide drag looking tires on the back of it and never did one that sat like this that was just stretched out and low and had uh, this kind of power plant in it either so this is 18 inch wide rear wheels um, which is just unbelievable they're nothing that you can store by obviously they're they're handmade um, 26 inch front wheel that matches um, it's got Avon rubber on the back and and has a uh, B rubber on the front as far as the engine, we're running the Hostile 130, which is 155 horsepower, 155 pounds of torque. It's exclusive through us. Um, it has the big two and a half inch pipes on it, six speed gearbox with double chains, 530 O-rings on it, uh, gas charge shock seat. Seat was done by Rich Phillips. It's all 100% leather and Alcatara. It's got uh, matching stitching, as you can see little orange, little red, little blue, something to kind of match all the flames. Also kind of goes really well with the nitrous bottle. Um, the gas tank is all handmade uh, pieces that are flat sided on the back. As you can see, they're not your typical HD, you know, out of the box gas, gas pans, obviously. They've got uh, a center panel that we made for it and did a little bead roll on it. And my buddy, Arkansas Jim, he uh, did his thing and did the chrome, chrome work on it. Um, Monster Tech by Autometer. Um, halogen headlights, LED lights on the rear, um, the big, big open belt drive with the outer bearing support and uh, red top battery. I don't know, the list goes on and on, but let's just fire it up so you can at least hear what this thing sounds like. So we'll flip the switch on, hit these compression release valves, make sure that we've got the gas on, hit the choke for a second, and we'll fire it up.